Alrighty, hello, welcome back to Are We There Yet? Season 4, Episode 5, uh, in what will be uh, the last episode of our first season in Croatia. Uh, two very, very big games today. Uh, we've got Dinamo Zagreb and HNK Rijeka. Rijeka? I don't know. Uh, obviously, the results leading up to now have not been so flash. Uh, we still sit two points behind Zapresic, uh, but Solon are right there with us they're also only two points behind and then 10th place is only four points behind so we need to probably win at least one of these games i'm not sure what these guys running is like fourth and seventh probably not the toughest i think we probably have the toughest running of all of these three clubs if we can make up enough, enough points to pass the pressic that'd be super uh, if if we're going to be sitting here eighth by the end of the day, that's absolutely fine with me too. Uh, I think it's been an interesting, really really interesting first few months. Uh, five through two, I don't have one. I'm not playing defensive. We've beaten them before, uh, so you can get that idea out of your head. Tried something new in the last game. I mean, I don't think it really worked. And again, we haven't really got anybody firing uh, on all cylinders. Dijkhuizen's uh, form has disappeared, so he will be dropped today. I uh, hope Huber's not playing that much better, but kind of just have to take what we can uh, at this point in time. Um, I think that's really all we can do. We don't have a left midfielder. We've only got left wingers. I could play uh, a wing back, I, I suppose, in that sort of spot. Uh, but let's just get these two games wrapped up. And then probably safe to say you can expect a massive shake-up uh, over the summer with the amount of players we have wanted I think it's going to be very very hard to even retain a lot of those uh, and at the same time I want to make changes myself we've got a couple of quite talented midfielders coming through uh, probably going to be looking to adjust the tactics next year I'd like to try and incorporate a wingback formation uh, and possibly even move into a uh, attacking midfielder sort of setup. Uh, whether we still have wingers or not, I don't know at this point. Uh, we don't have a whole lot. Kaliga and Fiolik are both wanted. And the other wingers we have don't really do much for me. Uh, they leave quite a bit to be desired, I think is a good way to put it. We started out pretty strong though, first 20 minutes. Could we have another repeat of last time? I can't remember how it finished. Was it 3-1? I don't remember. Um, I'm going to go work it into the box. Because I think that's one of the big... I know that sort of negates the idea of um, counter-attack. You know, you'd think an early cross would be, would be the way to go for counter-attacking. Uh, but we just seem to squander so many shots. I'm wondering if they just get hammered from wherever they think they might have a bit of space. Uh, that would make some sense uh, when you think about the instructions. Uh, but I think with the volume of shots that we quite often get, you know, we, I think we average anywhere from 15 to 25 a game as that. Well, that's a bit of a banger. Can't really say much about that one other than uh, well done. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You see that we, we, we've already created a couple of half chances. Um, we've had six more shots. I think that work the ball into the box is, is going to be the ticket. Um, the early crosses would sort of be nice, but at the same time, I'm assuming that and the bass is just... I feel like he does it on purpose, though. I don't know why our defenders get such a bad uh, rating. Um, show me something else. Yeah, well, if you didn't play so bad, then I wouldn't be harping on it, you little bitch. Through the middle seems to be where I think every tactic has gone this year. Maybe we, I'd like to come out and attack them just for fun. Uh, where do we sit on the table? Is it probably in something else we need to keep an eye on? Uh, what is Solon doing? Uh, they're drawing with Zapresic at the moment, so I really need that to stay that way. Uh, or things are going to get very, very ugly for us. Um, and funnily enough, I thought this was the more winnable game, given the result in the last fixture. 
But, I mean, realistically, I don't think either of them are. Let me just get that one out of the way. It wasn't really close at all, commentator. Just relax, shall we? Fiolic, can he give us another wonder? Oh, mate. The keeper was going the right way until it caught that deflection, and that is just what I wanted to see. So a point is better than no points. Brilliant goal from uh, the 22-year-old. The keeper was like, yeah, sweet ass, bro, you did this last time. Nah, I feel like has other ideas. Although, they're coming straight back at us. Just get rid of it, please. Nice and easy there for Filipovic. Uh, and Abbas is giving away a penalty. <sighs> He's getting fined. If we lose this. I'm quite curious to know, if we get relegated, would I get sacked? Filipovic was close. But... The simple fact is it should never have been given because <sighs> Yeah, okay, whatever. Um I can't really get much out of them, I don't think. We could try and push forward. Maybe we should. We need to try and get something out of this. I mean whether we lose by three or four it's not really gonna make a difference, is it? Except for that goal difference. But if we can get one back it could prove vital. I'll wait for this highlight to finish, and then I will adjust some things. Uh, we'll go to that 424. Uh, Abbas, you... Uh, oh, I took him off as well. Um, shit. Right. We'll run that for now. Um... And then we'll just look to make some substitutions sometime soon. It's just, it's disappointing. It really is. And I've said that way too much the last couple of episodes. I've actually got a big problem with uh, injuries at the moment too. All of my other central midfielders are a bit screwed. I was putting Busiak on for Kaliga. Um, that'll do for now. Neither of the fullbacks have played very well today. And it's not a good indication because I thought they were going to be the future. Lopes now with a corner. Oh, uh, it's a good block. Uh, there's definitely he was given way too much time on the ball there. Second cross comes in. Keeper will hold that one, and I'm going to encourage them once again. Uh, and we'll probably very soon tell them to push forward. Because we do need something out of this. Oh, Stolnik, what was that? Is this going to be 3 1? It might just be. And I thought the defence was the strongest part of the squad, especially when you looked at the star, no, the star ratings. Rebert. Oh. How is that even a penalty? What actually happened there? Oh, it's a bit further along than that. Does anything even happen here? Yeah, it's still a bit too far back. I do apologize having to watch this all again twice, but this is astounding to me. I mean, they're both involved. It says he pushed him. Hmm, I smell bullshit. Uh, and I'm going to sub him off. <laughs> Let's give Asaur his one and probably only game right back this year. So 
What's this going to do for us? So, so it's clearly, let's say our Zapressic are up. And game froze just a little bit there. That was interesting. Matt's Ritz of this third goal of the season. And it's probably safe to say we're going to be very lucky if this ends 3-1. Keeper had a fairly good goal at it, but it's definitely not his fault. Penalties never are. At least that's what I tell myself. So it's probably a pretty shit game all around. Fiolik was the only one with a halfway decent rating from that free kick. Uh, and he's just put in a second one from even further out. He's a bit of a star. Uh, if and if he's going to go, I think he's got a release clause of about 2 million. Um, Bristol City are looking at him. No, she just stole one of Bristol City's goalkeepers. Have to wait and see about that. All transfers will be revealed at the start of next season. You know, try and keep... Well, they don't actually arrive until July anyway, so... Should line up quite nicely. Uh, that's going to be it, unfortunately. Despite Fiolik's one-man heroics. It's going to end 3-2... Um, an absolute treat of a spectacle. Well, no. To be honest, I'm not happy. Uh, okay, tell me please, how is he demotivated? Your mistakes. Yeah, be stressed out. Um, you as well. Down and pressurized. Tough shit, mate. You're the only one. I'm very happy with your performance today. Uh, Begonia is like, whatever mate. Oh, you're all a bunch of little bitches sometimes. Kind of makes me want to just pull the team apart, you know? Anyway, let's not mess around. Um, overstate, blah blah blah. Um, remain confident, keeping him, fantastic goal. Uh, Defeat is a defeat. I think we played pretty shit, to be honest. So it's all going to come down to the last game. Um, we basically have to draw at the very least. Unless Solon lose, and then we can do whatever we want. <laughs> Which is, is pretty bad, isn't it? I shouldn't have to be playing like that. Uh, just actually, let me check. Are the board... Well, it says stable. I'm not happy with me selling this guy still. His value's come down. He's played nine games. He's not doing a whole lot there. So what are you worried about? Um, and I will jump ahead. We'll get straight into the next one. I will see you there in just a moment. Alrighty, final game of the season. Uh, we've already had some drama. See, there's a bid there on Fiolik. He wanted to leave because... Stad Bristoy? I think Stad Brest always wanted him. Um, he seemed to think that, despite having, is it three point nine, three point four? Okay, and okay, I didn't quite. He th anyway, he thought uh, two point seven. Oh, sorry, two hundred seventy thousand was reasonable enough price for him to leave, regardless of him being valued at a million. I told him to suck it up. I wasn't letting him go for less than a million. Uh, then the whole club turned on me quite quickly uh, and slowly worked that out with them. Uh, and then I've just started having offers for Etundi. I've got them up to around half a million. I mean, he's barely played. Uh, so I think half a million is not too bad considering he's only valued at 230. But that does also clear about five grand uh, in contracts, which I think is going to be quite, quite vital. Uh, so who's going to play left back for the last game of the season? Rosman. Nah, Bamba, because he's in a better mood. <laughs> uh, Huber, you ruined everything, mate. So we're going to give a saw a game. Stipica, I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Perich will come in for Collinger. Um, and that's probably about all I'm going to be bothered doing. Might even bring Grezda on for... Well, actually, no, I can't really ruin things too much. We have to win. Uh, or Solon have to lose. We have to draw, I'm sorry. 
uh, at a minimum unless Solon lose and then we can lose as well it's been a stressful season I think or stressful half season ready to make some improvements we've got uh, the youth facilities and the training facilities both being upgraded at the moment uh, we've only got uh, whatever we've only got a couple of months actually I think until that finishes um, see if that gets anything out of them I think honestly the game is going to rely on Solon given all the bullshit that's now going on I don't think we have too much, too many uh, we don't have a lot of power really it's going to come down to this game and this game alone unless we can get something out of it but as I just said given all the drama and bullshit that's going on now I'm not so convinced that even morale is going to be good enough to do that thankfully Hedrick split uh, their opponents perhaps we can we can rely on that although well even with Slav and Win it's not enough to overthrow us so we should 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 finish 8th I'm really not too worried about our game at the moment I'm just sort of watching the uh, latest results it's not an ideal way to go and I wish we were in a stronger position you know um, I hate the fact that we have to sit here and watch other results as to whether we'll be safe or not thankfully the lowest we can slip is ninth which is a playoff relegation playoff I don't know if it's one or two legs I'd like to just avoid it altogether but Hedrick split a winning so it's one less thing for us to worry about right now because I can't really be bothered with another two leg and trying to fit that into an episode uh, so let's just uh we've had a good start really um got a position more shots on target Ryuka have had nothing yet and I say that very very lightly because it wouldn't be the first time we've been uh, overthrown out of nowhere one thing I am curious though is just to see what happens um rebuilding the squad is obviously going to be a lot of it Without Fiolic, we're definitely weak in wingers. Kaliga is probably the best winger left because the other guy, one of the other guys, are leaving as well, uh, which might f might mean um, that Kaliga goes. See if that gets uh, some loyalty going for their fans. Somehow, I doubt it because they don't even seem to have loyalty to each other. Both teams doing the same thing. Let's go route one through the middle, see if we can get something. Which is it's a bit of a shame considering we're meant to be one of the better passing teams. We had split and now two goals up, so I think we can close that. Um uh, and, and we should be safe. So Slavin can't actually pass us, even though they're still winning. As uh, the Presic, I think, have been very very, very lucky well not really I suppose they're the bottom of the pack it's sort of come very clear now these three I think Ryuk could definitely count as one of the top three Istra sort of in between you had a couple of teams there uh, and Osiek and Novigrad that they're just mid table sides and everybody else is just going to battle it out over who's the worst basically I'm hoping we can break that slump very very quickly uh, and next year we push on the mid table a uh, year after that I want to get up inside that top three I'll take I'll take top five as a minimum although that is mid table really uh, the top three is going to be tough to break into though and it's not going to happen overnight but I think we're capable we've had some bloody good results and some bloody shitty results uh, but maybe a full season of um a solid training that's a penalty I don't think we've had too many penalties uh, with, with Zagreb yet looks like he's going to be in a little bit of trouble here as well I mean if you want to send him off that'd be great for me who even takes our penalties I can't remember Fiolik does everything and he's about to bloody leave <sighs> I mean fair enough 
He's played pretty bloody excellently. Uh, oh. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> so close to being saved. I was telling him to concentrate before that highlight starts again. A keeper's very, very, very unlucky there. Just pushed it onto the post, and it's just happened to roll back the other way. That'd break your heart. Uh, if I was in goal, I would not be on my feet that fast. I'd have my face in the dirt. Just hoping that no one was watching. <sighs> Alright, so that gives us a four point gap now. So we can definitely take something out of that. Uh, Grabovac, I don't think I actually ever even told you about him. Uh, he came through um, I think it was a youth intake. He was one of the only, well we had three or four with five star potential. Uh, two of those dropped off to four star very quickly and I think Grabovac's the only one uh, that still has five star potential. Hence why he's up in the first team. Um, whether something comes of him, I don't know. I'd like to think that it might. Let's bring Dijkhuizen on, since it's possibly going to be the last time he's going to play. Um, not a bad game today, in all honesty. I think we'll let... I've already made my subs on my thinking, so never mind. Yeah, I'd like to think that... Especially now with the upgrades that I mentioned, we'll have um, we'll have a lot more coming through the youth. We've already got pretty good uh, recruitment levels. Now it's just going to come down to uh, whether we can develop them or not. I'm happy to find spots in the team. I forgot, you know, to develop players, of course. Um, and I think we, we'd have to sell. And it's the same thing I said at Dundalk. The only bonus here is that we've had money all season. We haven't lost a whole lot of it, uh, despite spending about three million on facilities upgrades. I keep trying to get another affiliate club, uh, but it's just nothing. It's the same problem I had uh, with Dundalk. There's no, there's no teams they can link us up with. I don't know why. It's not really offering us uh, the chance to link up with an international club. Uh, you know, which we could do for raising your profile elsewhere. But. We're just going to have to uh, hope for the best. There's a good ball there from Grabovac. Bit of a weak finish. I think it's Busiak actually. Playing up front. Uh, which is probably where he'll end up playing next year. If we do drop the wingers. Uh, like I said, we're going to have abundant, an abundance of midfielders. So I probably will look to drop the wingers in favour of... Uh, maybe a 4-1-4-4-2 four, 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 diamond. Possibly we could go to the 4-3-1-2. Sort of a 4-3-3. Three, three. Um... I don't want to play three strikers, so to be, uh, well, a cam, maybe two cams, we could go for a 4-3-2-1. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing a whole lot of wingers next season, though, that I can assure you of. And we've actually just snuck away with a very, very tidy 1-0 over a team that seemed to have done a lot of damage throughout the year. They're going to want to find themselves in third, six points off the top three. Uh, but we've avoided the messy, messy battle at the bottom. Puts us four points clear, uh, so we'll let Slavin battle it out in the uh, relegation playoff. I don't know who they're playing. I don't care who they're playing. Magic split. Well, snuck in with another one. You know what's funny is we've only been in game for well, three seasons now, but this is our fourth season. Just because of the way everything's, oh mate, the penalty was given and that's that. Get over it. Brilliant feeling. Uh, I think we'll be fielding some calls. Perich, thankfully, had a good performance. Bolton are having a look as well now. Well, step right up, make an offer. Asking price, two million. You want him? Have a go, or he's going to Russia. <laughs> uh, and that could quite well be where Attundi goes as well. And like I say, that'll free up five grand in wages. Uh, so that should hopefully 
allow us to bring in a couple more players. Gonna need a striker though, I think. I haven't really seen enough from what's his face. Collar, and he's wanted as well. He's only what? Six goals. Karim is the one scoring the goals. Uh, who wants him? Fackle from Russia. Russia won all my players. Karim, I'm surprised, has nobody after him. Um, he, yeah, I don't really know what to do with him. He wants to be the false nine. That was that four-two-three-one that we had, wasn't it? With um, Dundalk. I don't know. I can look into that. Well, bit of a sketchy season. Definitely got a little bit nicer down here. If you ignore the friendlies, <laughs> can we clear those? Um, let's just go down to the league results. Yeah, doesn't look so pretty anymore. Um, they obviously did much better before we arrived. I think we might have put a few wins on the board, but yeah. Anyway, that'll sum up today's episode. I'll uh, I'll get ahead and move on with the with the summer, and we'll see what we can come back with for next year. Hopefully, the board don't hate us too much. This says we're stable. Still not quite convinced, to be honest. It could be a funny summer. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the episode, please check back in for the next one, which will be season five. Uh, hopefully, we can improve things a bit more. We're up to a, a two star reputation now, starting for a continental C with about forty percent. So improvements are being made. Uh, and hopefully we can we can improve further next year so have yourselves a fantastic day uh, and i'll catch you next time thanks bye